Hey everybody, thank you for joining us again right here on my Corvette channel. Now tomorrow is supposed to be the first order release and allocations for 2023 Z06. So I thought it was perfect timing to replay a video conversation between Matt Beaver at Whitmoyer Chevrolet and myself. A dealer to dealer conversation. Back in March we said, what are we going to do? When Z06 ordering starts, if there's constraint items, how would we handle that for you, the customer? Well, based on the Chevy marketing memo that we shared last week on the channel, it does look like we are going to have constraint items. We expected that to come based on what our world is going through right now, but we are gonna have constraints on Z06. To what degree, we don't know. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a ton of questions about what about these VIP orders that are already placed? What about these selectable VIN orders that are already placed? I can't speak of that. I have an opinion on that, but I'm not going <laughs> to not going to speak of that either. So tomorrow we'll find out what is supposed to be because when we get that marketing memo that I referred to from last week, that means the following week is the order cycle for that given month. So tomorrow is supposed to be the first release for Z06 officially anyways for Z06 ordering. We're hearing rumors that that even might be delayed by a few weeks, so we'll find out tomorrow. But right now, I want you to hear this conversation so you understand behind the scenes what we really are dealing with and, and how we're going to deal with constraint items for Z06. Thanks for joining us. Listen to that now, a real-time conversation and concern if, in fact, we have constraints to deal with when it comes to retail ordering for 23Z06. Guys. All right, so we're talking about some scenarios that may come up when you order the 2023 Z06. So we expect constraints to be on this car. We don't know that yet. We're not in the environment of tagging and releasing orders. So as we get closer, we'll have more definitive conversations on that. But what Matt and I were just talking about, let's give you guys a scenario. I had one perspective, he's got another perspective, and he might change what he plans to do for his customers based on what we're talking about now. So if you've got Z06 allocation available. And Matt, go ahead and say what you were just asking me right now. Yeah, so for example, if carbon fiber wheels is on constraint and I earned one of them, right? So I could order, maybe I could order two Z06s for the month and only one of them can be carbon fiber wheels. Right. I, I go to my list, one through five, nobody wants carbon fiber wheels, right? Okay. Do I go to maybe number six who does want carbon fiber wheels? Well, first I would offer the carbon fiber wheels to the first five people. Okay, right. right. Everybody said, nope, Matt, I don't want it. It's a too expensive option. My thought is I go to number six who does want carbon fiber wheels, give him that Z06 allocation and that constraint, and now he is technically moved up to spot one or two, right? Because I have two Z06s I can order, for example. Correct. That's my thought on it. What is your thought process on that? Because it's going to, you know, we're going to get into a, a situation where the list in the line gets moved around constantly because of constrained options. Well, I What's think if, I think if you do that, you create a shuffleboard that you'll never know really truly where you are and where your customers are. So let's go back through the scenario that Matt was talking about. A constrained item. Say that your Z06 order, folks, is up for release. And there are items, we know that the supply chain is probably affecting Corvette more than we actually know in detail. But say your order is up and General Motors says, you can release the Z06 this week, but you can't, as Matt said, can't get uh, carbon fiber wheels, you can't get the high wing, which is the Z07 package. So if the first guy in line, the guy or anybody that's up to actually have their order released, if he doesn't have any of those constrained items, do you go down the list to find a guy that wants those items and move him forward? I say no. You place that order first for that guy. Even though it's precious and it's delicate, you want to grab the, you know, Matt was talking just before we went on air. Matt says, hey, I want to grab those constrained items. I don't know how tough they're going to be throughout the year. We certainly right. don't know. But I think in that cycle, if that guy's order is up and he doesn't have any items on constraint, and then even though you got a constrained item, you don't move somebody forward. You place his order and then you just pray, hope, and gamble that when number six or seven is up, that the stuff that you need, Z07, carbon fiber wheels and so forth are available for that particular order. So that way you keep the integrity of your order cycle and sure. you don't penalize number one 
because he didn't want carbon fiber wheels and he didn't want Z07, but you're gonna, you're gonna place number seven as number one just because you got the constrained item that you're afraid you may not get. And you're right, you may not get them in the next cycle because they're so constrained and they're gonna say, well, hey, you'll call your zone rep and they'll say, well, hey, Matt, we, we gave you carbon fiber wheels and we gave you Z07 and you didn't take it. You're like, ah, well, the first guy didn't want it. So what the heck do I do? It's a quandary that we're gonna go through for 2023, but I think the integrity and the commitment and the difficulty that we're gonna have placing these orders, I think the way that I just described is probably the right way to do that. And it's really, really dicey and that's why it does make for interesting conversation right now between the folks watching and, and between Matt and, and I, the, two Chevy guys, man. Crack, because then once I get to number six, for example, okay, and he wants carbon fiber wheels, now I can't give them to him because I didn't earn that cor uh, that carbon fiber wheel allocation. Because you didn't take it, right. Because I didn't take it. Now, yeah. number six gets passed by a couple times, maybe, maybe ten times or four times until I get another carbon fiber wheel option. And then number six would go in. So do you take the the constraint when you get it, or do you pass on it? And now number six all of a sudden goes to number twelve. Well, so I think I think whatever you do, because we've just made this as a uh, as it's a conversation. Weird. I think whatever you do, you don't tell anybody what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because the only way people are going to know is if you say, "Hey, man, I had this wheel, but I passed on it. Sorry, I didn't get it," and they get yeah. totally confused. It's I, I think you got to do whatever you feel your gut is right. I think what I described is right, even though it puts you in a compromising position for future allocations. I agree because you didn't get those items. And who knows? Because of the supply chain issues right now on Corvette, I think the focus really is for Z06. So I think that when Z06 ordering begins and as it progresses, this might not even be a conversation. Everything will be available and it'll flow and it'll be good. And the only thing we'll be complaining about is not getting enough. Absolutely. And you know, you always have to look at the what ifs and that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. You know, what if this is an option? What if that's an option right. uh, that, you know, the list gets jumbled. Do you take what you are allowed to take and pass up people or do you go yeah. in order and, you know, that's not, you, yes. Dude, I've had the same conversation with myself looking at the order, so I know exactly what yeah. you're saying. And it's it's really hard because I'm seeing that the constraint items, the list is getting longer. So what are we in store for when it comes to Z06? I still think we're seeing constraints on Stingray because they're trying to prioritize the launch of Z06, and maybe we don't really see the degree to what you and I are worried about right now, but I, I think it's still a real possibility. I mean, especially, especially in the world of carbon fiber, for Pete's sakes. Absolutely. And I mean, if we go back to 2020, if you remember, the first cycle could not order Rapid Blue. Right. It right. wasn't available. The or, first or 1LT cars. You couldn't order 1LT right. cars. Right. So now, for example, we're just looking at that. Like, say my first guy wanted Rapid Blue in 2020, which he did. Um, you know, I call him and say, you have to change your color or do you wait? And, you know, he said, I'll change my color. I right, yeah, so he at least gets too. the option, exactly. It's like, hey, wrap oh, blue's sure. not constrained. Yeah. Do you want to wait to the next cycle, or do you want to place yep. your order now? Okay, so that's 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 the right conversation to have there, I think, in, in, yeah. my, in my opinion. Yeah, you let the, let the, let the uh, you know, gamble up to, to the customer, not to myself. I would never want to be that, you know, guy that makes the gamble and it fails. Uh, you know, let it up and say, hey, I can put your order right now, and I do have a carbon fiber wheel option available. Do you want it? If they say no, I think the right move is to take the carbon fiber wheel option. But I see your side where you're saying, nope, pass it up and gamble later down the road. Yeah, why it's penalize just, the guys ahead of uh, ahead of him? Uh, I, I, I don't think it's fair to him. And in this, you know, I know tonight, by the time my vlog airs, you and Mike will already have uh, aired the vlog about him coming in to order the car. So this might be a conversation to have with Mike. So, hey, Mike, when your order's up... And I know you've yep. got him prioritized because he's been such a great asset to, to you in the store and he buys sure. a ton of cars. But when his order's up, what is he going to do? It's like, hey, man, I know you probably want Z07, but if I can't get Z07, are you going to take something else or are you going to wait to the next cycle? That's absolutely the conversation we'll have, uh, you know, when he comes in. Right. You know, I know that you want, you know, check every box on the list, right? Because that, that's what he's going to want. And I think he's going to wait because he does want something specific. You know, because he sure. has, you know, intentions to do stuff. It, it doesn't serve him well on the channel if he doesn't get the car the way that he wants it. Right. But then you look at, okay, he takes the car that he doesn't want. Maybe he orders because he wants to get the car first. Right. Yeah, I was just going to say that, right? You know? <laughs> 
bordering with Mike is a little bit of a, uh, you know, you got to watch because we want to get the car early so we can make the content with it. But you also don't want to give up certain things because that's not what he actually wants. You know, at the end of the day, it's not just a business decision, business decision for him. It's I want what I want because I'm spending a lot of money here. I want to be able to enjoy it. And you know, I think I, I think you're right too. He's going to want something first for content, which means he right. will probably flip the car sooner because he didn't get what he needed on the car. And you and I, being with Chevrolet for a long time, know that we're not. Uh, no longer in the environment that you can call Chevy and say, hey, I got this buddy and I got this situation right. and moves. There's no more of that good old boys club. You, you, you do the best you can with what you have in the timeline and what you get it. Absolutely. So then, uh, you know, if, if he can't get the fully loaded car right away, I, I would think that he would wait uh, to get that car, even though it sacrificed the early content that he was going to be making with the car. Right. I think he would, because he wants the car, you know, he's going to keep the car and, and, and and enjoy it like the he's other not ones. gonna get dude he said how many times he says he's gonna keep the car <laughs> that's every car I sell he it. changes cars like he changes underwear bro but i mean maybe <laughs> maybe this one he'll keep i don't know i know right right but no yeah that's why i want to give you a call just to kind of get your take on it because i'm having conflicting uh things do do you move the list around does it get more confusing and i like what you said with you're going to be chasing you know it's like herding cats right uh, to try to, to once you cats. start that snowball rolling it's never going to stop because if, in fact, we start ordering with those type of constraints, I think yeah. eventually it will go away or does it? You know, are we in that environment that we're every week, number one, we're going to be waiting every month just to see how many Z06s we get, but also are they going to be constrained items? So it's not just the quantity, it's going to be the quality and the integrity of that order. Are we sure. able to place that and move forward? So it's going to be probably the most difficult year for me, ordering cars for customers and for customers to make decisions because they've waited so long, because this is going to be the next upper echelon in Corvette and the money that they're going to spend, uh, it, it, they're really going to think about the decision before they say, okay, push the button, let's move forward. Uh, there's a, a lot to think about, and it's going to be real-time decisions. There's no way of knowing this in advance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so good luck. <laughs> hey, that was good, Rick. I got to get going. I'll talk yeah, to you later. me too, man. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. <laughs>